even thought a snail reploy was a good idea. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Bore me to death as you slug towards me? <laughs> What's good? Welcome to part 7 of the Mega Man X2 Weapon Master run, where the entire arsenal is put to work as it steadily becomes available. Stay tuned for commentary after the gameplay. Our seventh special weapon is Crystal Hunter, and yeah, I'm just going to say it. This weapon is the least useful of the set. Granted, it has its usage here and there, but you'll find that it's not the ideal weapon to use in most circumstances, and other weapons can get the job done much more efficiently. It is a nice platforming tool though to skip certain sections, especially in cross hunter stages. By freezing an enemy with Crystal Hunter, you can use their frozen body as a footstool to get where you need to be. You can also just dash into them and they'll instantly die. The problem with this though is that it's mainly for weaker enemies that don't require a lot of hits to kill anyway. Otherwise, quite a few enemies are either immune or just won't get frozen in one hit. I really don't even want to talk about the charged version because it's just, uh, it, it's counterproductive. I get that by slowing everything down, this will help a casual player or someone who's unfamiliar with the game to feel less pressured by the high speed environment, but it's completely unnecessary for any other type of gameplay. Obviously, this has no use for speedrunners, and as a hybrid of speed play and entertainment myself, I have no use for it either. It wouldn't be as problematic 
magic effects didn't get slowed down as well, which adds to the counterproductiveness of it. That's like the equivalent of Mega Man being frozen in place for using the Flash Stopper in Mega Man 2. <laughs> Thank god it doesn't actually work like that, though. I'll still use the uncharged version out of obligation. If this video's been entertaining or helpful thus far, I'd appreciate it if you boop the like button. That one little click will let YouTube know that you enjoyed and it will help spread this video to the correct audience. Hey, 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 X, get out of the fucking right armor, jeez. Oh, I didn't suffer as much this time outside of all of that, but he sure did. Let's end his suffering. <laughs> nice cry, jackass! Wish you were gonna do that! Okay, so I'm going to address the cross hunter thing real quick. I've explained this three different times already, but apparently I have to keep explaining it. But this is an all bosses playthrough. All of the cross hunters and Zero will be fought. I used a different save after clearing all eight Maverick stages, where I didn't fight Agile and Moth stage, so Zero could appear later. Uh, that's the last time I'll mention it. That said, Sergis, or Sergis, however the hell you want to pronounce it, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> was the only real threat here at this stage, and one of the only things I'll mention in this breakdown. Being a boss who doesn't follow a set pattern, you have to be mindful of his positioning. That's why you have to adopt a similar strategy to Overdrive Ostrich. If you move yourself to the safe spot preemptively, you won't have to worry about getting hit by a spread shot. What makes this harder than Ostrich, however, is that Circus doesn't give you nearly as much time to react to his jumps. So if he surprises you with a random jump, or he just keeps doing it over and over and over as the EMS showed, you'll have to keep moving. There is an exploit speed runs used to lock him in place with the lemons, but the timing's super strict, and I'm not qualified to explain how to do that in detail. I opt against using it anyway because I wanted to stay true to the Weapon Master title and show off the properties of the charged Sonic Slicer hitting the enemy twice. This is the intended way to fight him, so I wanted to stay faithful to that anyway, even if that meant making the fight a little harder. All right, I forgot about the mini boss skip. This one's just really easy, and anyone could do it whether they're speed running or not. You simply need to speed burner in this particular spot and just keep going. Nothing to it. I personally just hate fighting this mini boss because it's so boring and I had no qualms about giving it the middle finger. Let's not forget to support our remixers today. They're all familiar faces, but still, give them some love if you haven't already and enjoy their remixes. Crystal Snail. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me make this one quick since this slow ass takes his sweet time. Snail's iframes are relatively short when hit with his weakness, so that's why he can get ripped a new one by the charged magnet mine. This isn't as easy as it looks though. For one, you'll need to position yourself just right so Snail can jump high, giving you enough time to fully charge and start the black hole loop. He can easily just dash back to his shell or have him jump forward a second time to escape the loop. You want to hit the shell as soon as possible because his AI will know to jump towards the shell to retrieve it. But with with practice, this loop will become second nature and there's nothing too hard about executing it. I have a more disrespectful variant of this loop for the boss rush, but you'll have to wait for that one. <laughs> Either way, that'll do it for today. Check out my Mega Man X4 Weapon Master run, which will be in an end card somewhere on screen. Otherwise, check out my playlist page for more of my challenge runs and stay chill, y'all.